This is the Battlestar Galactica panel, and we're going to bring our lovely guests out here without any further ado. I'm going to bring them out in this order. Uh, her portrayal of Ellen Ty, we all know and love her. Let's give a nice Dragon Con welcome to Kate Vernon! Head six and didn't think I'd get to do any of that, and I love doing that kind of stuff. Um, so I think the first time I got to do it was the Arrow of Apollo museum scene with with Starbuck. Um, yeah, and we had a lot of fun doing that. Um, <laughs> I remember one of the takes. We there's breakaway statues, and um, they didn't tell us that they'd run that they'd run out of breakaway statues. <laughs> so I just chucked or kicked Starbuck into one. I didn't really kick her, but you know, you connect and push her really hard. And um, she hit the statue that wasn't breakaway. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, you know, you, you, the comfort that you have uh, and your ability, because you say, be that captain and don't want one, and I use some old and some secret word on this or something like that. The same thing when you're acting and you're going to different things. But you can, because you're reluctant, it's our set. It's our uh, cocoon, it's our spot, we're very comfortable and safe in it. As opposed to when you go and guess it in some of these series, you think, I don't know, like, what, what do you want done with you? What, what, it's not easy, that's not an easy thing. Well, every, every set has its own, not only is there a tone of each individual show, every set has its own vibe. And so in the beginning of Battlestar, we were setting our vibe and our tone and and I think, as a cast and crew, we all became very close. Um, we still are very close, and um, I think that helped when, when guests did come in. We were very welcoming to them. Um, but as you were saying, in the beginning, you have a lot more work of setting up this character. First days, as you've mentioned, are always hard because you're, you're trying to figure out who this character is, and you can see it on the paper, but until you actually live her, for a scene or a day or whatever, you know, um, an example of, of 
my last show, I was playing Texas Ranger. We rehearsed for a week, just sitting down talking about stuff. The first scene, I didn't even have any dialogue. I just walked to my Tahoe. And the, and the director comes like, oh my God, that was Molly, that was Molly. I'm like, I know, because I was living her. I was walking. I'm not going to walk down the office with her swagger, you know? And that's the same thing with every time you do a role, you're settling in. So by third, fourth seasons, fifth seasons, we all know who we are as individuals, and we also know who we are as characters.